This is Darren, joined by Gary Edgeloop, manager of Boston Town. Uh, Gary, 2-2 two -two draw this afternoon with Eastwood. Uh, first and foremost, what's your thoughts on the result? Um, I think Eastwood have battled the socks off. They've worked so, so hard. I've given them a juice, you know what I mean? Came here with a game plan and, and they've worked off. Worked very, really, really hard. Um, for me, though, it's two points drop, 100%. It's a game shoot. I mean, you look at first half, and first half was, I suppose it was an half and not really any anything created by both teams. Is that what you yeah, saw? Yeah, I mean, that, that wind was really strong out there. I mean, and, and I said as well, to be fair, we wanted to go with the wind behind us. We, we lost the toss and, and we've gone against it because I thought it would drop in the second half and, and, and it has. The first half, that wind was really strong. So we had to sit in, just restrict them as what we could. And, and then we knew the second half, we could kind of open up and, and we knew if we got it at half time, nil nil, we'd be confident of winning the second half. Right then, so uh, second half, uh, they scored, went one nil up. Fordy scored from a corner with a great header straight to back at net. What are your thoughts on that one? Yeah, no, he's done well. Um, he's got well for it. Um, but again, we've had a couple of probably two or three half chances. It's been like that today, and, and, and we've not really made them pay where we should have done. Um, but he's, he's, he's took it well. And then they've gone down to the other end not long after, got their second goal. But not long after that, um, I really managed to get one back in there. I'm not so sure how much he knew about it because he did have a first attempt. It got deflected back off keeper, and then I think it hit him again and just went into back in there. But yeah, I mean, Lou White's done brilliant. I mean, to it, well, we've gone two and up there, and, and that's that's the kind of thing that we're disappointed at. Is to say we, we've worked hard throughout the game. We have worked hard today, and we've we've got a nose in front. We've gone two one in front. Um, I'd say Lou's put it on a plate for Limbo. He's got to be there to finish it. He's done well. It's one good forwards do but then I mean I say our defending in, 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 from both goals today was, was shocking just as straightforward as that but just shocking defending and uh, it's not good enough right then so obviously uh, last week you said it was announced that you're leaving come end of the season got an handful of games left but the old passions seem to be still firing in your belly this afternoon yeah absolutely I mean uh, hey I'm like that if we have a friendly, do you know what I mean? I don't want to lose. It's as simple as that. I want to win everything, whatever we do. Um, in training games, <laughs> it, it, it's the same. That hunger is always there, do you know what I mean? And today, um, a big, a two points big drop today, do you know what I mean? But again, you'll probably come to that in a minute, but the penalty decisions today, two clear penalties, one in the first half, one in the second, and you're not going to get any clearer penalties. And the thing is, you know I mean? I'm sick and tired of harping on about this, and, and in terms of officials, we just want a level playing field. That's it. I don't want them being biased in one way or the other. I just want a level playing field. I mean, the, the decisions we've had since Christmas, the officials have actually made the game go one way or the other by their decisions. They're deciding who's, who's picking points up in games, and that's what's happened today. I mean, the one in the first half, I asked the referee at full time, and this is the bit that makes you laugh, I asked him at full time, if you put two arms around a player like a bear hug from behind and pull him to the floor, is that a free kick? And his answer to me was, well, sometimes he is and sometimes he is. How, as, can, how can that be? As you say, you mentioned that. Today I've been fortunate, I suppose, to have been behind both big incidents. Like you say, that Ari Lim obviously getting pulled back. Uh, I was 20 yards away from that. I could see it. Um, and then there was another big, big talking point, which le left you down to 10 men for the last seven or eight minutes of, of the game. Uh, when Fordy got simbined for, I'm guessing, descent. But the incident what led to Fordy getting uh, simbined for descent was Richard Ford getting, getting pulled back when, surely... I mean, why would he go down when, he, when all he had to do was tap the ball into the back of the net? Yeah, exactly. And, and you've seen that. I mean, the supporters, everybody's in the ground seen that today. And this is the bit, the frustrating bit is, you speak to Eastwood, and they've seen it. They know it. Do you know what I mean? This is the frustrating bit, that everybody in the ground can see it. All the players can see it. But you've got somebody stood there in the middle of the pitch who's, who, who effectively was 10 yards away from the incident with a clear view of it. And, and he saw it but doesn't believe it's a penalty. And again, he's rugby tackled him to the floor. He's not looked at the ball. He's got both arms around him and pulled him to the floor. And he's, there's no benefit in, in Richard going over because he's just got a straight forward tapping. And again, it's just so, so frustrating because again, that's a few minutes left. We get a penalty. Hey, we might miss it. But at least give us the chance to take to, to, to score it. It's, 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 not, it's not good enough. Sorry, it's not good enough. Right, then, so uh, end of it, end of last week or so, uh, four points from two games. It's not too bad, it could have been six, but it's not to be. 
a few games left to go to end the season. You must be looking forward to these ones, and I'm sure the fire yeah. will still be in your belly for these yeah, next few. Absolutely, few-ups. absolutely. We, we we come here wanting I'm wanting to win every single game, and um, as I say, we know we haven't got many games left, but that's not any reason for us to take the foot off the gas. And it's not. If anything, I'm pushing these even harder. And as I say, with the minute we have to do that, we have to keep doing that, and we have to keep pushing. I mean, we're not playing well at the minute. It's, we're not. And we, I said that last week. But what we are doing, we're scrapping and we're fighting to to win and get as many points as we can and the lads have done that today I can't be disheartened with the, the, the levels that they've put in today in terms of how hard they've worked today because they have they've done that and they've given us all let's say we've made defensive errors which we know about we got into the final third today on numerous occasions and, and we wasn't good enough in that final third game should have been three points today and it's, it's disappointing not to pick right. three Gary, thanks for talking to us. Uh, I'm sure I'll catch up with you again, seeing as I'll be sitting. I'll, I think I'm at your last game against Stephen, actually. So uh, yeah. looking forward to getting your thoughts on how, how it's gone in your four years while you've been here. So uh, once again, <laughs> I'm sure there'll be some interesting comments on that one as well. But yeah. once again, Gary, thanks for talking to us and uh, speak to you soon. No worries, all the best. Thank you. Bye.